Coming up into this year's vintage, we've almost dropped back a decade into the drought conditions of, of the mid-2000s. With a farm like ours, where there's no irrigation, you do depend on, on rain at the right times, and I think between Easter last year and the start of harvest, we'd only had about five and a half inches of rain. We were saved. Nature always gives you a bit of a look through the Golden Gate. Uh, by some rain a couple of months out from Christmas. We started picking on the 10th of January and we finished on the 7th of February. So 27 days, very quick turnaround. A remarkably peaceful and easy vintage. This vintage reminds me personally a lot of 2007. So the whites are gonna be a bit more generous, a bit fuller and richer, softer acids and the reds have got incredible concentration and incredible colour, but without high alcohol, you don't get that very often. So for me at the moment, the star might be Shiraz. Semolons will be bigger, softer. No one's gonna keep it. No one will keep the 18 Semolons because they're just too good to drink when they're young. V18 is probably quite similar to, to 17, I guess, which was a fantastic year. You know, we had we've had really, really good growing conditions, and most importantly, the fruits come in really clean and in really good nick. All of the wines so far for V18 are all looking fantastic. Big difference is through all varieties is the berry size. Berries much smaller. They're not going to be little, light, elegant wines out of this year. They're going to be fairly big, strong, robust wines. It is hard for the consumer because you don't necessarily know what's a good vintage, what's not a good vintage. You just know the producer that you like and I think most consumers can be relatively loyal. I'm certainly like that with, with wine I buy. 2018 is a lot like 2017 where all varieties are good.